Exercise 11. Basel Services began operations in 2009 and maintains long-term investments and available for sale securities. The year-end cost and market values for its portfolio of these investments follow. December 31, 2009, the cost $375,800, the fair value $364,526. So as of the end of 2009, the fair value is below cost by $10,091. On December 31, 2009, an adjusting entry is needed to record the investments at fair value. The journal entry is a debit to the unrealized loss, the equity account, and a credit to the fair value adjustment available for sale long-term account, 10091 The $10,091 journal entry is the difference between the existing balance and the desired ending credit balance in the fair value adjustment account, as we need to reduce the fair value to less than cost. The only reason that the dollar amount of the journal entry and the overall unrealized loss are for the same dollar amount is because the existing balance in the fair value adjustment account had been zero. December 31, 2010, the cost is $428,412 and the fair value is now $454,117. The fair value is now above cost by $23,008. The journal entry is a debt to the fair value adjustment account for $33,099. This amount takes us from an overall unrealized loss of $10,091 to an overall unrealized gain of $23,008. The journal entry is always for the difference between the previous balance in the fair value account and the desired ending balance. The rest of the adjusting entry is a credit to the unrealized loss equity account for the amount previously recorded, 10091 and a credit to the unrealized gain equity account, 23008 December 31, 2011, the cost is $582,640, and the fair value is now 689263 an overall unrealized gain of 95436 We again need to prepare the year-end adjusting entry to adjust a fair value. The difference between an overall unrealized gain of $23,008 and an overall unrealized gain of $95,436 requires a debit of $72,428 to the fair value adjustment available for sale account. The difference between the previous balance, a debit of $23,008, and the desired ending balance of $95,436. We credit the unrealized gain account for $72,428. And December 31, 2012, the cost is now 879,786, but the fair value has dropped to $783,010, an overall unrealized loss of 86,622. We debit the unrealized loss equity account for 86,622. Eliminate the balance in the unrealized gain equity account, which had previously accumulated to 95,436 and credit the fair value adjustment account available for sale for $182,058. In 2012, we've gone from an overall unrealized gain of $95,436 to an overall unrealized loss of $86,622, a total decrease of $182,058.